Remove the covers from the lift. Release the winch by manually blocking the winch drum with your thumb and engage the positioning bolt downwards. Turn the handle anti-clockwise until it clicks into the specified hole. Slowly extend the lift horizontally. It is important to start with the upper section. The first red mark indicates the height of two standard shipping containers. The second red mark indicates the height of three containers. Each of the following red marks indicates the height of one additional standard shipping container. Adjust the lift to the desired height, taking care to never exceed the red markings of the different sections, and tighten the locks firmly by hand for each section. Remember to tighten all sections when the lift is extended to the desired length. Raise the lift from horizontal to a vertical position, and mount the hook as high and utmost as possible on the locking bars, and closest to the door hinges on the critical container, by turning the hook until it falls into place behind the locking bar. Make sure to place the hydro pen on a flat surface and avoid uneven parts and container door hinges. Adjust the winch to ensure the correct working position and connect the brake of the winch by deactivating the positioning bolt. Connect the fire hose to the hydrant and the other end of the fire hose to the hydro pen. Release the carabiner from the winch and make sure to have a freely hanging wire with no twists. Connect the hydro pen to the wire by attaching the carabiner to the specified holes. Place the fire hose on the inside of your left arm and grab a hold of the lift with your left hand when hoisting. Stand as far from the container stack as possible to make the biggest working angle. Hoist the hydro pen firmly upwards and make sure that you can hear the winch clicking, which means that the brake of the winch is activated. Hoist the hydro pen until it reaches the top of the lift where it will lock into place. Let go of the lift and walk away from the area. Turn on the water slowly to prevent hammering. The units will penetrate and guide the water into the burning container.